10 tips to succeed on YouTube in 2020. Hey, before we get started here, what I'd love you to do, if you would go down that subscribe button, hit subscribe, and then hit that little bell that gets notifications out, I'd really appreciate it. And you'll get to know when all my new videos are coming out. And I put videos up usually Tuesdays and Fridays on how to succeed on YouTube and also how to make money online. So here are the 10 tips. The first one is define your authority in your keywords. Now I use two tools. One is Keywords Everywhere and the other is TubeBuddy. And they're just unbelievable tools that you start looking for what you want to put your headline at, it'll tell you other keywords that you should be working with. So what you want to do is you want to tell YouTube, it's an algorithm, it's like a machine. You want to tell YouTube, you know what you're talking about. So they start seeing your keywords and that's where they start putting your video videos in the suggested column and showing it on other people's videos. But that's so key is to find your authority in your keywords. The second step is pay attention to what's working, right? Follow different people in your niche, pay attention to their channel, what videos they're putting out. Now don't copy them, but see what's working for them. See what keywords are they're using. Pay attention to what's working and kind of emulate them so where, guess what? You're gonna be showing up exactly where they're showing up. The next one, now this can be goofy, I just told you to pay attention to what everybody's doing. So now, go left when they're going right. If you would go through and look at, you know, people's banners, people's thumbnails, and if that color is black, use white. If the color that they're using is red, use blue. If the color they're using is green, use yellow. Go opposite of what they're doing, just to grab different attention. If they're using certain headlines, use other headlines. The fourth one is build your own audience. And what that is, is what I'm talking about is don't just use YouTube. See, in my videos, I always tell them to go to my Facebook page. I tell them to go to my Instagram page. And I'm building both of those by using those links on YouTube and vice versa. So use different channels to build your community up, your audience up. The fifth one is make sure you distribute your content everywhere. To get your video noticed, you have 24 to 48 hours. Put it on your email list. Post it on other social media accounts, in groups, in forums. Tell people what your video is about. Ask them to subscribe, right? Get your videos out there. The sixth tip is your community. As you start building your YouTube channel, right, here's what's going to happen. People are going to start making comments. Reply to all those comments. Ask questions. You know, start building up a relationship with people. Because guess what? When you're at a million subscribers, those are the same people around here when you had 10 subscribers. So start building your community. Next one is double down. I think we're on what, number seven? Double down to accelerate. Again, pay attention to what's trending and go for it. You know, if you look at, at my channel, I have a lot of videos saying the same thing. Not quite the same thing, but different headlines, different this, but I'm talking about the same subject. I'm doubling down because that's what people are looking for. That's what they want to see on my YouTube channel. Now, this is a new one. This is number eight, and I've just done this. I haven't done a lot of this, but live stream. I mean, YouTube has a live stream. And it's almost like what you can do is almost do a webinar on there if you'd like. But live streaming is, is huge. And what happens, using keywords, those live streams start building your audience also. And if it's valuable content and people are staying on for the long time period with your videos, that's what click, that's what click book. That's what YouTube likes to see. The clicker through rate and then how long people stay in your videos. So try to pay attention to live streaming. Now, here's the next one. Pay attention to your analytics. Man, that is so important. And when I first got started, I really didn't do it because I really didn't know what I was doing, but start paying attention 
to what's going on. You know, the retention rate, top subscribers, see which videos are doing the best and find out which ones are doing the best. And guess what? That's where you're going to keep putting videos up. And the 10th one, now that's a great list. I'll put the list in the description below, is you gotta be testing all the time. Right now, I've been telling you to double down, do, you know, hit the videos in the, in the headlines that are popular, but at the same time, don't be afraid to try something different. Right, see if it works. Try a different niche. Right, try a different subject and see if that's what people are looking for at that time. Go look to see again what people are doing Right, and I've done this many times. It's, I talk about YouTube, tips on how to build your YouTube channel, how to make money online. But I've also talked about teachers because I'm a math teacher. I've talked about teachers making money on teachers pay teachers and how do they can build their own online business. But don't be afraid to fail. Try something different. So those are the top 10. I hope you got a lot of value from it. I know if you paid attention to me, you did get value from it. But I'm curious, curious, which one did you like best? Which one resonated with you best that can help you build your channel? Hey, I put a free link to a free giveaway down below. How to create a six-figure income online. It's a great giveaway. What I'd like you to do also is hit that subscribe button and that little bell that goes ding, right? So you get notices when I'm going on YouTube. Hey, peace out. You take care. Love you all. Bye.